and, and ever since 10-7, we have seen an increase in this country in both anti-Muslim attacks and anti-Semitic attacks, attacks against Jewish people. So, why do you think that is? Because people will are using these events as excuses to double down on their bigotry. I think I think anti-Islamic, anti-Muslim attacks have gone up like 200%, and then anti-Semitic attacks have gone up like 300%. And this kind of goes into the whole point where the other back to the other video that I made about the topic where I said that Jewish people and Palestinians, Jewish people and Muslim people have to stand together against the oppressors because that's what ultimately I think their goal is, is that they want to shake up the wild hornet's nest they want to shake up the jar of ants there's that there's that meme that goes around every once in a while where if like if you have a jar with a hundred black ants and a hundred red ants that they'll leave each other alone but if you shake the jar up they'll all start killing each other so like the whoever whatever side you want to put whatever ant is and then the world shakes up the ants, and then the Jewish ants and the Palestinian ants, or the Jewish ants and the Muslim ants go attack each other, whatever. But, I don't know if it's a perfect analogy, but still, y you, you have a bunch of the world who thinks that the Jewish people are always going to be the bad guys. You have a bunch of the world who thinks that Muslims are always going to be the bad guys. And now that you have a conflict between Israel and Hamas, you have those people who are thinking that either Jews or Muslims are always going to be the bad guys who are going to use this as an opportunity to go after either or both. And so we've seen increases in hate crimes against Jewish people. We've seen increases in hate crimes against Palestinian people, against Muslims. You had those three uh, people who were Palestinians walking along the street who got shot, uh, you know, home on a holiday. Um, I think one of the parents of one of them was like, no, don't come home. You'll be safer where you are. And of course, the person didn't come home and got shot. And one of them might not be able to walk again. I mean, fortunately, none of them died. But one of them is never going to be able to walk again, potentially. I don't know about the other two. I haven't heard the condition of the other two. Um, I think the one that won't be able to walk in, his name is Hasham or whatever. Um but two of them were wearing your your uh, the uh, scarf that is typically worn by uh, Palestinian folks. I forget the name, sorry. Uh, but again, like there's no reason for the attack other than I mean they're looking they're investigating it as to whether or not it's a hate crime. It was a, clearly it was a hate crime. There's there's no way that that wasn't a hate crime. Whether they can prove that being unreasonable that in a court. That's, that's up to uh, the prosecution to be able to do, but you're not going to be able to convince me that that wasn't a hate crime. Now, I, I, I'm, I, I will not be convinced otherwise. But this is why I'm saying that you know, the bigots are using this as an opportunity to go after both Palestinians, to go after Muslims, to go after Jewish people. This is why we all need to stand together. This is why we have to stop the infighting between Jewish people and Muslim, Muslims, Muslim people. This is why we need to stand together against the people that would oppress both of us. Because it's bigger than us. But again, as, as I've said for a lot of things, the people who are the oppressors, the people who want to keep people marginalized have the oppressed people, the marginalized people, fighting amongst each other because the more we fight amongst each other, the less likely we are to look up and be like, oh, they're the problem. So we need to do more looking up. 
and, and fighting the real problem instead of fighting each other. Now, I don't think the guy that shot the uh, three uh, Palestinian guys, I don't think he was Jewish. So I don't think that was an issue of the infighting, but we're doing so much you know, blaming of each other over a lot of things when we should be coming together and standing together in solidarity against the people who are using this as an opportunity, who use the problems in the Middle East as an opportunity to rile things up and distract us from everything else. Like Netanyahu uses this to distract from his legal problems. Like, you know, the world uses this as an opportunity. Like Putin, I'm sure, loves the fact that we're all arguing over what's going on in Israel right now and not what's going on between Russia and Ukraine. Putin loves this right now. How much do you hear talk about Ukraine and Russia right now? A little, not as much as you had been, why? Because we're all talking about what's going on between Israel and Hamas. Do you, do you not think that Putin has some reasons to to egg what's going on and have it continue to go on? No, of course he does. Of course he has reasons to continue to want this to continue and to want to keep stirring up that hornet's nest. So it is, it is vital for all marginalized and oppressed people to stand together. And I am very tired of being treated as if because I appear to not be a marginalized and oppressed person because I look like, you know, white guy. Because I, I still am Jewish and the anti-Semites, the Nazis, the Klan folks, the people who hate me simply because I was born Jewish want me just as dead as they would want anybody else who they're bigoted against. You know, my white privilege goes away as soon as my Jewishness becomes relevant. Maybe because I don't, you know, look Jewish to most people, I get to hide it a bit. But I'm not silent about it, so I don't hide it that much. Which is why I use whatever privilege that I do have being a white guy shouting about the fact that we need to stand up and stand together as marginalized people and work together to fight the bigotry and intolerance of the oppressors. Because if we don't do it, <coughs> they will continue to get away with their bullcrap. 